Uh, just get right into it. Uh, Man. Uh, your boy J. Cole apologizes for dissing Kendrick Lamar. Is it fair or is it foul? Is he in his feelings? Is he is he losing his mind? Can the rap community get over it? What's your take, Francois? The great. Well, my take on it is these two, I think all, I'll even throw Drake in there. I think all three of them are friends. So for me, I just think it's a friendly, competitive battle. I don't think we have a situation like a Tupac and Biggie over here. <laughs> like, I think they're, they're all competitive. They all want to be known as the man. They all want to be the one. I think what happened with J. Cole is he said what he said. He thought about what he said. And he was like, I don't care what people think about me. I really don't feel this way about this man. This is my boy. Like, I got history with this man. I mean, I basically produce high power. I, I love high power. I wish J. Cole would produce more Kendrick Lamar tracks because that was dynamite. Yeah. And he thought back to those mixtape days, and he was like, I can't really hate on this man. This is like my brother. And basically, you know, <clears throat> in front of millions of people, I mean, that was, I mean, in, in a concert setting, that was surprising. I, I mean, you could just make a phone call for that. Like, hey, look, bro, look, man, blah, blah, blah. You know, yeah, but, for the... For the rap community, I think it was a, a L for rap fans. Rap is this competitive sport right. where, you know, who's the best, who's on top. I believe that they all are friends is why Drake didn't respond to him a long time ago. Many years ago when he called him out of the control, he never even responded. He's responded not on record. But I feel like right now, Kendrick is reaching. And nobody's talking about that. Kendrick is reaching because he needs to say something for people to gravitate him to it like in a universal space right you think so yeah because he's a good artist it's not about him being a good artist but think about like he he name dropped kendrick j cole and some other rappers a long time ago in the control verse and 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 you know it from that verse like you don't he's not somebody that you're like you fear he's gonna destroy your career like at all kendrick lamar is i think one of those if you followed him for like since he's come out and I believe 2010, 2011. He's very, he was under the radar, but at the same time, he's been saying for a while now, like, I'm the man. But like, why? But I'm why? the best. And, and he, he, the dude is some, he's a force to be reckoned with. Kendrick, Kendrick to me, I, I'll put it this way. When Good Kid Mad City came out, it's been a while. I mean, when I heard that album and I, I let it play all the way through, that was one of the first albums. It's it's even probably now, till now, where like every song, everything on that album is like a movie. Like I could yeah. I could see it. Like his the way he puts things together. I wasn't really a big fan of the Mr. Morale, but he really. Which is what J Cole said. It was like you Ms. had one classic. Mr. Morale, and but I won't say that about Damn, and I won't say that about To Pimp a Butterfly. He's very his his art form and his art is he's very very inclined with what he's doing and what he wants to do at that point in time so he's i think a, he's, he's a, been telling us he's been the man for a long yeah, time but they, so. I, what all i was saying was he's not gonna ruin anybody's career like a 50 cent ja rule type situation or start it's, yeah, he, he, he's not gonna start j cole's career no matter what he says he's not gonna he's not gonna slow down drake no matter what he says drake is gonna always be king of the hill that's just I, it. I, it i will say this um I wouldn't want Kendrick Lamar barking up my tree, but but this is he a, a problem. But, but this is the thing. I will say that Kendrick is a problem, and, and, and obviously it, it seems like I have a dog in the fight, but I don't. Right? All I'm saying is from Kendrick to reach out and get their names again for more attention, like Drake said on the right. Like you, you only calling us out because nobody's talking about you. So you gotta say our name. That's what J Cole said on the record. And at the end of the day, I feel like Drake's the same way. Like Drake's gonna always be uh, upper echelon, and it's. Right now, it's almost untouchable. Like he's, uh, Pusha T hit him hard, and it did not do anything to his career. I think it's because Drake's pop, though. Kendrick's not pop. You know, Drake's always going to be talked about because he's pop. Kendrick makes rap. You know, good point. Yeah, but 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 Kendrick is, uh, but uh, Drake is universal. Yeah, he's he global. Makes pop, pop, he makes pop. popular music, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like it's not gonna you throwing a, you throwing a stone uh, at the top of the mountain it, hill, and it's not gonna hurt anything. It's it's so fun he's you brought global. it's so fun you brought up Pusha T because. Kendrick is, I'll say, in this in this era, this I'll say in this ten year period that he's been in of the rappers that he's around, the Big Sean's, the J Coles, the Drakes, he's like that Pusha T. Like he don't really need to say much because people people know and they respect they respect Kendrick. So like 
if he is to say something, wait, wait when his album comes out. Like when his album comes out now, like people pay attention. I, I guess I, I guess what I'm saying is, you know, it's great for for rap. It's just that what is Kendrick going to say that's going to tear down their career to that's put him up? That's what he's up, trying to do, though. But, I mean, this is per someone that's won a Pulitzer Prize. But that's fine. As but what I'm saying is that what I'm saying is that because he's a poetic artist. I, I get that. Like, this is not about his talent. What mm -hmm. I'm saying is that him going at not even so much J. Cole at a Drake, it's not going to do anything to devalue Drake's career. So the whole part, part point is like, but why? Like you're going at a guy who's universal, still one of the best artists in the game, Spotify top ten. You're not gonna devalue this person's career. That's all I'm saying. Like, what's the point? If you're friends, what is it? Well, I think it goes back to like you saying, it's a competitive rap is like a competitive sport, right? Yeah. And they all feel like they're the man. See, the thing is, Kendrick's been saying he's the man. I mean, back when it's back just, when he was with Black Hippie. It's just weird he, when you have J. Cole and Drake who are friends and they're like they're, they're they all, shot him out on the song it's us big three to be like we're the top it, it, as as mm -hmm. friends so for you to jump out of the box when we're praising you as you're one of the greatest rappers as they say on stage again why it doesn't make any sense that's why J. Cole's like bro I, I mean I jumped out the box well, it's, for no reason well the, the thing is just like Kendrick's been saying he's the man a long time ago Drake's been saying Slick things a long, long time. Oh, ago. Drake always say he, didn't, but he is. Though. <laughs> it's been building up. But he, but he it's, is. It's, it's been building up. So but he like, is the man. People who pay attention to rap, as they'll say, the slick dissing. He's he's king of slick disses, um, and he is. He's good at it too. Cause I I catch I catch a couple of them. I don't catch all of them, but the ones I catch, I'm like, now nah, you know you could have ended this song. You didn't need to put that little last line in there, but you knew what you were doing that last line. It's, okay, all know. right, yeah, okay. Um, and I think J Cole is kind of the one that people are like. More so than Kendrick and Drake. Why are you saying anything really? Because you're really you. We know that you're you've gotten better and better with every album. So to go in into the whole competitive field, it just it was out of left field. Because for I his mean, response, right for for him to like say anything. Now, if it came from Drake or Kendrick, you kind of you could see that because they they both been they both us, slick. They, they yeah. both been saying they're the man. But J Cole, we've seen progression from each album in his rap he's he's a great rapper and, and just his freestyling ability out of this world if yeah. you guys have not seen any j cole freestyles yeah i, I get mean it out of it. my goodness i, I just just don't understand so, the reasoning so yeah. for me that kind of seemed weird and i and the the uh, apology to me didn't seem weird because when he actually did the record it seemed awkward. It was like it seemed out of out of character for him. It just doesn't seem like something he would yeah, do. Yeah, but for me, for me, he said some things that I thought were truthful out of uh, his body of work. He does have a classic album. I do believe people gassed up one of his other records, and I believe his last album was it was pretty good. But other than that, like Good Kid, Mad City, that's the one. Well, well, to me, if and these are facts, I think Good Kid, Mad City, to me, classic. Classic album. Next after that was it? Damn. No, it was to pimp no, a it, butterfly. No, no, to, to, I to think pimp a butterfly. Damn was the one that he's really the man on. Damn. The pimp a butterfly was a good, but it wasn't to me. Damn was just a different. Yeah, level. I, I mean, I mean to me, I think good to me to um good kid, mad city to me was classic because I mean to me and if people are like, nah, I wasn't really. I mean, they still play. Uh, don't kill my vibe yeah. and they still play uh album, yeah. they still play swimming pools swimming pools was on the nba <laughs> finals yeah. for like the whole entire time yeah, it's so great, like it's a great record yeah, yeah so yeah. so and those are like his you know beginning records to pimp a butterfly i know people were kind of like questionable on D damn was the one that i mean he won like pulitzer prize and all this stuff like the first rapper you know i was like whoa you know um and then now he has mr morale which people were like uh, kind of like to pimp a butterfly they were kind of on the fence with yeah. but then i've heard people say to pimp a butterfly is like one of their favorites and then i i hear people like charlemagne saying um 444 and mr morale and the big steppers are going to be remembered in time as like yeah maybe so maybe a reasonable doubt yeah there's people um that really love those records so no yeah, I mean, I mean, I, so I think the record J Cole's talking about when you know that 
S was classic um, was T Pab to Pimp My Butterfly. Mm. That's the one that's re- renowned as like a classic yeah. album. Like not even in just a, in the hip hop rap gen- yeah. genre of all time. Mm-hmm. You know that's the one he was talking about. And then just like in his um, song Seven Minute Drill, like yeah, some of like the verses on there, like like oh it's bo- it's your your stuff is old like The Simpsons or boring like the, like. Why? Why did he have to like? That's a weird yeah, it bar. just it was weird. Like, it, it was it, it out was of, like out of place. Out of like, place. It was, it was weird. Like why? why I are mean, you... it it was to me. I thought it was a good. I thought it was a good record. I thought his response was fine. I mean, I mean, we don't want a Tupac Biggie situation. I mean, at the end of the day, I feel the same way. J. Cole, J. Cole felt. I felt like I'm not on the the Kendrick Lamar train. It's, I'm just not. I mean, he's a great artist, mm-hmm. but I'm not giving him that that crown around his head like the people on the West Coast are. I'm just not. I'm just... I'm, oh, yeah. I'm not. At the end of the day, J. Cole can rap his tail off, so can Drake and Kendrick Lamar. If Jay, if Drake wants to just rap, rap, he can rap, rap, I think, if he wants to. I think the reason why I've already given him the crown was because I remember when he first came out, I've spoken to uh, Flicks by Jay uh, about this in the past. There was a concert. It was one of his first shows, and it was in Hollywood. And I said, I'm going to go see this guy, K-Dot, because I'm hearing a lot of noise about him in the city. So I took the time I went to go see him. And just the energy in that building, I was like, whoever this guy is, man, you know, and when he got on stage, you know, he brought out all kinds of people to game. When I left, I found out Dr. Dre was in the balcony. I said, oh, it's over with. This guy's out of here. Because just if you were there that night, it was just like, he just had so much love from the city and like he didn't even have to rap any of his songs like literally like they were just they knew all of the records and this was when uh section 80 had just come out and it was just you were like whoever this guy is he's out of here because it was just electric and no one really knew him he was pretty much unknown so when i saw that i was like yeah you know he's he's about to pop he's going to be yeah he's gonna i mean be king. I, I think a lot of fans feel that way i guess the question is is so like you know what's the reason that he had to diss him anyway what does he gain from it uh why did j cole like apologize that's like they were, they were slick dissing kendrick you know yeah like, that's kind of what francois was saying so you're yeah. saying they were slick dissing kendrick when they said that he's on the the best three on the on, on the shooter the uh, shooter song yeah, the yeah. shooter record first yeah. person shooter that was a diss to kendrick when yes. they say when they say that it's us I don't understand that. Well, it, it no, looks... No, no, how do you feel? No, like, it's just I don't understand. For me, what I don't understand is why is J. Cole saying that Kendrick's music is boring, like his newest music is boring, when progressively, in my opinion, Francois, um, J. Cole's work has just been like, you know, it's it's every every album he comes up comes out with, to me, it's more more and more boring, in my opinion. Mm. So but, it's the opposite of me So my thing mm. is, why would J... Why would... Kendrick Lamar diss J. Cole and, and Drake? I think two reasons. So... Do you, I just want to see his point because he wanted yeah. he's on a mic. That's yeah. what he wants. Mm-hmm. What's the reason that... Because he's him. Like, he... Like, it... it there, there's, like, two ways to look at this because, like, oh, like, if you're the man, why do you have to say you're the man, right? Right. Well, he doesn't have to... Kendrick doesn't have to say he's the man. Right. But he's just so good at, um, you know, his artwork and rapping. Mm-hmm. He just came out on a feature with, with Future just to do that. You know, yeah, like, he's you know, not gonna do it on his for, own record. Yeah, I, like yeah, that, yeah so. and that's my whole point. He won't do it on his own record. He he jumps onto someone else's record to do it. Yeah, just like he does it with Baby Keem. You know, when when he's on a uh, feature of Baby Keem, he mm-hmm. sounds way different than he does. Oh yeah, when when he uh, makes his own work. But I, I think there's two reasons. So you know, like I did say before, this is Drake we're talking about. Drake with with the slick disses. So Drake's been doing this for a while, right? You know this has been going on. If you're Kendrick, you know this has been going on with Drake for a while. Now, all of a sudden, there's a song. Your boy's on the song with him, and you're just like, hmm. Now, I think for me, this is just my opinion. When that video came out, I don't know if you guys have seen uh, the the video to the um, first time. Is it first time? First person shooter. First person shooter. Yeah. So at the end of the video, there's a <laughs> Drake is a trip. Drake has he, he has a line with the Michael Jackson. So beat it. And then there's a big statue of him. And, and there's a skyline of Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Oh. So it's like it's like, dude, like oh, I, I you, you, you basically saying you the man. Yeah, I didn't see that in my city. Like, I mean, you could take it that way. 
I mean, I'm, I don't know if that's how Kendrick took it, but when I saw it, I said, oh, man. And then you got J. Cole in the background standing there like the, he's in the video, too. So you kind of look at that. I'm, I'm, I'm just like I said, this is my opinion. If you're Kendrick, you're like, wait a minute. You're supposed to be my boy. Mm -hmm. You you supporting this? Like this man got a, st a statue like on like on the P o PCH overlooking. Yeah. Hey man, overlooking I mean, and it's, nice. it's like, you know, so. For, for him, he's just like, oh. That's crazy, man. He not Drake's not editing the video. Drake tell him what but, he want, and the video comes out as it comes out. But but of course, the lyrics. Where, where, where does the idea come from? Where does the treatment he's come a, from? He's the director. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but again, but it's like you know you, it's like we're all forgetting that he acknowledged Kendrick as one of the great. It's us, the big three. It's like why is but that it's not being the big three? It's but just, it is just, the it ain't to, you. No, no, that's what he was saying. It's not the big three. It's just big me. But it ain't right. no big you because you don't have the stats to say it's the big you. He's not a pop artist. No, he's not. A pop he's artist. not a pop. That's artist. not Drake's fault. I mean, no. uh, if if of you, course if you make pop music, you're gonna be like you know. No, they like, got a, they got a whole it, bunch of people that make universal. pop. It's they got a universal. lot of people that make pop music but, that are not at the top. But I got just a, you I got I got a question. I got a question for you. I think if you took a poll and asked people if Kendrick was wrong in saying that. Yes or no? I think a majority of people would say he's not wrong at all. Well, is he is he wrong in in, in dissing his friends? I no, mean, no, no. I'm saying the big me, the big me line. Cause no, I don't think I think like there's nothing wrong with him saying it's just big me, and there's nothing wrong with uh, Drake having a statue and saying I'm Michael Jackson. Like everyone can say they're the best. What's wrong with saying the best? Right, but and and just like I said, but just because I say I'm the best doesn't mean it's a diss to you. I'm the best because I feel like I, I'm the best. Absolutely, but just like you said, he he gave him a shout out right with the big three line, right? Why did he have to? This is my thing. Why is it that you have to end the song with the whole Michael Jackson line? So beat it. like like you see what I'm saying? He knows what he's doing. But he's been saying he's MJ. That boy is light as Michael Jackson. R right, but, but on the but track he be black. Like he's he's, been very, he's very strategic because he knew he's like oh. I, I, so if people come at me like I'm hating on him, I shouted him out. Like I said, he's in the uh, big three. Like I don't why see it people, that way. Oh, he does it all the time. No, he does it all the time. He does it all I, the time. I don't see him saying that he's Michael Jackson. Has anything to do with Kendrick Lamar? Kendrick Lamar and Drake's stratosphere is here, and Drake's way up here because he's global. So Kendrick Lamar is not in his way of any success. So, I mean, I think they're both global. I don't. I don't. I don't think uh, Kendrick Lamar is as global as Drake. I think they're both. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. To, to be what, fair, Kendrick Lamar is not as global as Drake. No, yeah. No, I mean, yeah. I, I think I think Man, Drake, Drake is a bigger. Got, I, think I think Drake, Drake is a bigger. Drake has way yeah, more. I think Drake is a bigger artist. Agreement. Of course, Drake but I think has way more memories and hits completely. Oh, than, I, than I think Drake Lamar. is a bigger artist, but I yeah. I do think that they're both global. Yeah, I mean, yes, yeah, I think Drake, globally people know Kendrick, but I'm just I'm just comparing like they're not the same. They're not in the same in the same ballpark to me. Yeah, I mean, I just yeah, I mean, as far as globally, I think they're both global. I'm, I'm talking about as far as their like the success. As far as sales, we, we know sales that. And as, reach as, and as far like as sales, that. we all know that. And he's been Drake doing this is, forever. Drake's been doing this forever. They've both been, been doing it forever. Yeah, but, I mean, but, Drake's been at the top Drake, for a long time. But Drake's mm -hmm. making pop music, and not only that, he's featuring on all mm -hmm. these other artists' songs. He has other artists featuring right. on his music. Right. Kendrick Lamar is very selective about that. Oh stuff. yeah, he's and very he's doing selective. It yeah, Kendrick, Kendrick on Lamar could do the same thing. He could get on the same artists or whatever, have the same relationships, and do the same thing. That's I mean, fine. to me, at the end of the day, I just want to see the Drake, J. Cole, Kendrick album. I've been wanting it for I, I don't a think long we're time. I, I, I think if I don't know if we're getting it anymore. I, think if, <laughs> I, don't, know, I don't know. I don't know. That's what, I don't think it's going to happen. I think I it would just be amazing. Dead. Before we go, I think if, uh, if this is true, if Drake comes out, I think he's going to be a, very strategic if he disses um, um, Kendrick Lamar, and it's going to be a problem where they don't reconcile. I think it's going to go that far. Because I think I – think, you keep pushing Drake a lot, and the Pusha T was one thing, and he came back and said that he had a record that he had to hold back on that he did create, but it was something that he probably wouldn't have come, come back from, that he was saying a lot of things that he couldn't apologize for. Him. And I think this situation, he's like, gloves off. I'm, I'm in. I think I think there's so many people that they're all affiliated with that they're just all going to – this is all going to be squashed. They'll be fine. It's Cause, a possibility. Because ASAP – like I said, ASAP is cool with Drake. ASAP is cool with Kendrick. ASAP 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 is cool with J Cole too. ASAP is cool with Big Sean. ASAP is cool with uh, Big Sean is cool with Kendrick. Big Sean is cool with J Cole. Like like that generation, they they that whole time they're all cool. Um the the um the problems record that basically is like a um a bunch of artists that went on tour together. Two Chains. 
uh, ASAP Rocky, okay. Kendrick, Drake. They're, they're all cool. I mean, is there like a feud and they all understand what they're in? Uh, this thing called rapping is competitive. We'll I think so. So I do I see J. Cole working with Kendrick in the future? Absolutely. I wouldn't be surprised. Do I see you, see, Kend- you, you, do you I don't see, see Drake- Kendrick Lamar and Drake working together? No. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised to see nah, another they, poetic they, they justice. They haven't done anything ever since he says he mentioned them on control because he was like, for what? We're supposed to be friends. Like, why are you mentioning? We're friends. I, I, I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Bro, it hasn't happened, bro. Ever since mm-hmm. Poetic Justice, it's never going to happen again. Stay yeah, tuned. Yeah, I can no. see J. Cole and Kendrick, but... Yeah, J. Cole and Kendrick all day, but Ken- Drake... Drake and Kendrick not Like, out, like I said, they, they, got, they got people They got people that are affiliated. See, if if there was no affiliation, I'm like, yeah, I could see it. But there's too many people that are affiliated to each other that could bring them together to make it happen. So that's that's my nah, take on it. He's so, sensitive, bro. Drake is sensitive. You know. he, hasn't, he hasn't done since, <laughs> since, 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 since the control verse, bro. They have had no records You together. think the light skin going in the way? The I think light so. Skin I think the light skin is all in the way, bro. I don't, I, I don't see it happening. Hey, this is Ice Cube, man. And he has some beefs of his own, too. So we'll be right back. Yeah.